हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल तो इस वीडियो में मैं आपको बताऊंगा ये सब आप जो देख रहे हैं ये सब जावा इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चंस पाइथन तो ये मैं सारे चीज़ डिस्कस करूंगा तो ये पूरा प्लेलिस्ट मैं बनाऊंगा तो आज चूँकि मैं पाइथन का डिस्कशन करूंगा तो मैं आपको ओवरव्यू करा देता हूँ अगर आपने जावा नहीं पढ़ा है तो आप ये डिस्क्रिप्शन में जाकर जावा का वीडियो देख सकते हैं तो मैं इस पूरे वीडियोस में जितना भी प्लेलिस्ट में वीडियो आएगा तो वो रिलेटेड होगा जावा पाइथन सी सार पी एच पी ए एस पी डॉट नेट एस क्यू एल टेस्टिंग से रिलेटेड क्वेश्चन डी बी एम एस पी एल एस क्यू एल एस डी ई टी एजील जावा स्क्रिप्ट नोट जे एस सी एस एस सेलेनियम सी प्लस प्लस बूट स्ट्रैप एंड सी तो इस सारे टॉपिक से रिलेटेड इंडिविजुअल वीडियो होगा जो कि क्या होगा इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन एंड आंसर के लिए होगा जो कि मैं आपको स्ट्रैटेजी बेस्ड इंटरव्यू और क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन आंसर डील करूंगा और कुछ और क्वेश्चंस हैं जो कि इंडिविजुअल हैं तो उसका वीडियो आप डिस्क्रिप्शन में है इसका सेपरेट वीडियो बना हुआ है जिसमें कि ये सब क्वेश्चंस डील होंगे स्टेप टू इंट्रोड्यूस योर सेल्फ प्रॉपरली फिर ये क्वेश्चन वाई डू यू वॉन्ट टू वर्क फॉर दिस कंपनी फिर वेयर डू यू सी योर आफ्टर फाइव और टेन ईयर्स तो इस टाइप से जो क्वेश्चंस हैं टेल मी अबाउट द बेस्ट पर्सनल प्रोजेक्ट व्हाट चैलेंजेस डिड यू फेस एंड हाउ डिड इट चेंज द वे यू वर्क तो ये सब चीज़ है जो कि आपको बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है ये सब कंफर्म है कि पूछे जाएंगे अगर आप फ्रेशर हैं तो कुछ क्वेश्चंस नहीं रहेंगे लेकिन अगर एक्सपीरियंस है तो ये सारे क्वेश्चन कन्फर्म समझिए वाट मेक्स यू लाइक दिस लैंग्वेज ओवर द अदर लैंग्वेज मीन्स अगर आप बुट स्ट्रैप का दे रहे हैं एग्जाम तो बुट स्ट्रैप को आप क्यों लाइक like करते हैं अदर लैंग्वेज का कंपैरिजन जावा का दे रहे हैं तो जावा का क्यों करते हैं तो आज हम लोग शुरू करेंगे क्या पाइथन और मेरा फोकस जो है आपको क्या बेस्ट क्वेश्चन आंसर देना ताकि आप क्या करें क्रैक कर सकें सो so, स्टार्ट करते हैं पाइथन इज अ पॉपुलर प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज इट वाज क्रिएटेड बाय गुइडो वैन रॉसम and released in 1991 it is used for web development server side software development mathematics system scripting little intro the most recent major version of python is python 3 which we shall be using in this tutorial however python 2 although not being updated with anything other than security updates is still quite popular in this tutorial python will be written in a text editor it is possible to write python in an integrated development environment such as thony pycharm netbeans or eclipse which are particularly useful when managing larger collections of python files like share Questions after introduction. I am going to list some of the most important Python interview questions and answers, which will set you apart in the interview process. Which is your favorite language? And you answered Python. One. What is Python? How it is good for? Python is a general purpose. object oriented high level programming and easy to understand language easy to learn syntax emphasizes readability and reduces the cost of programming maintenance we'll say we can use it for web and internet development desktop gui database access games 3D graphics network programming scientific and numeric applications software development applications applications in education business next to how is python different from java python mandates indentation dash java needs braces python is dynamically typed Dash Java is statically typed. Python is simple and concise. Dash Java is uses objects and classes. Next. 3 what is a function? When we want to execute a block of statements, so we can give it a name. 
e.g. function to take two numbers and return the greater number. Def greater, a b return a is a b else b greater, 3,3.5, 3.5. Next. For what are global, protected and private attributes in Python? Global variables are public variables that are defined in the global scope. To use the variable in the global scope inside a function, we use the global keyword. Protected defined with a underscore prefixed to their identifier e.g. underscore Sarah. They can still be accessed and modified from outside the class they are defined in but a responsible developer should refrain from doing so. Private attributes are attributes with double underscore prefixed to their identifier e.g. underscore underscore onge. They cannot be accessed or modified from the outside directly and will result in an attribute error if such an attempt is made. Next. 5. What is recursion? When a function makes a call to itself, it is termed recursion. But then, in order for it to avoid forming an infinite loop, we must have a base condition. Let's take an example. Def facto, n if n equals equals 1, return 1 return n asterisk facto n1, facto, 4. Question 6. 6. Can you explain the life cycle of a thread? To create a thread, we create a class that we make override the run method of the thread class. Then, we instantiate it. A thread that we just created is in the new state. When we make a call to start, on it, it forwards the threads for scheduling. These are in the ready state. When execution begins, the thread is in the running state. Calls to methods like sleep and join make a thread wait. Such a thread is in the waiting slash blocked state. When a thread is done waiting or executing, other waiting threads are sent for scheduling. A running thread that is done executing terminates and is in the dead state. Question 7 7. How Python is interpreted? An interpreter is program that reads and execute code, source code that is written by the programmer into an intermediate language, which is again translated into machine language that has to be executed. Next. 8. What is PEP8? PEP8 is a coding convention that lets us write more readable code. In other words, it is a set of recommendations. 9. What is data abstraction? What is Java abstract classes and methods? Data abstraction is the process of hiding certain details and 10. What do you mean by inheritance? Inheritance is the process of creating new classes, called derived classes, from existing classes or base classes. The derived class inherits all the capabilities of the base class, but can add embellishments and refinements of its own. What is pickling and unpickling? By accepts any Python object and converts it into a string representation and dumps it into a file by using dump function, this process is called pickling. While the process of retrieving original Python objects from the stored string representation is called unpickling. Next. 13. What is method overloading and method overriding? Method overloading, 
when a method in a class having the same method name with different arguments is said to be method overloading. Method overriding, when a method in a class having the same method name with same arguments is said to be method overriding. Next. How is a .pyc file different from a .py file? .py files contain the source code of a program. Whereas, .pyc file contains the bytecode of your program. Before executing a Python program Python interpreter checks for the compiled files. If the file is present, the virtual machine executes it. If not found, it checks for .py file. If found, compiles it to .pyc file and then Python virtual machine executes it. Having .pyc file saves you the compilation time. Next. How memory is managed in Python. Python memory is managed by Python private heap space. All Python objects and data structures are located in a private heap. The programmer does not have an access to this private heap and interpreter takes care of this Python private heap. The allocation of Python heap space for Python objects is done by Python Memory Manager. The core API gives access to some tools for the programmer to code. Python also have an inbuilt garbage collector which recycle all the unused memory and freeze the memory and makes it available to the heap space. Next. 16. How are arguments passed by value or by reference? Everything in Python is an object and all variables hold references to the objects. The references values are according to the functions. As a result you cannot change the value of the references. However, you can change the objects if it is needed. Next. Seventeen. What is Lambda in Python? It is a single expression anonymous function often used as inline function. Next. 18. What is pass in Python? Pass means, no operation Python statement, or in other words it is a placeholder in compound statement, where there should be a blank left and nothing has to be written there. Next. 19 in Python what is slicing? A mechanism to select a range of items from sequence types like list, tuple, strings etc. is known as slicing. Next. What is the difference between Django, Pyramid, and Flask? Flask is a micro framework primarily built for a small application with simpler requirements. In Flask, you don't have to use external libraries. Flask is ready to use. Pyramid are built for larger applications. It provides flexibility and lets the developer use the right tools for their project. The developer can choose the database, URL structure, templating style, and more. Pyramid is heavy configurable point zero like Pyramid, Django can also used for larger applications. It includes an ORM. Next. You want to explain how can you make a Python script executable on Unix? To make a Python script executable on Unix, we need to do two things. Script files mode must be executable and the first line must begin with hashtag, hashtag, slash usr slash local slash bin slash python. Next. 22 What is polymorphism? 
Polymorphism means occurring in several different forms. A single object can refer to the superclass or subclass depending on the reference type which is called polymorphism. Next. 23 Mention what is Flask WTF and what are their features. Flask WTF offers simple integration with WT forms. Features include for Flask WTF are integration with HUD forms secure form with CSRF token global CSRF protection internationalization integration recaptcha supporting file upload that works with Flask uploads. Next. 24 Explain database connection in Python Flask. Flask allows to request database in three ways before underscore request, they are called before a request and pass no arguments after underscore request, they are called after a request and pass the response that will be sent to the client teardown underscore request, they are called in situation when exception is raised, and response are not guaranteed. They are called after the response been constructed. They are not allowed to modify the request, and their values are ignored. Next. 25 Explain what is dogpile effect? How can you prevent this effect? Dogpile effect is referred to the event when cache expires and websites are hit by the multiple requests made by the client at the same time. This effect can be prevented by using semaphore lock. In this system when value expires, first process acquires the lock and starts generating new value. Next. 26 How do you write comments in Python? Write any example. Comments in Python start like this hashtag defining the post code. Next. 27 How to add values to a Python array? Elements can be added to an array using the append, extend, and the insert, ix, functions examples, a equals arr array, d, 1.1. 2.1 a dot append 3.4 print a a dot extend 4.5 comma 6.3 comma 6.8 print a a dot insert 2 comma 3.8 print a output array d 1.1 2.1 3.1 3.2 Array, D, 1 .1, 2.1, 3.1, 3.4, 4.5, 6.3, 6.8, Array, D, 1 .1, 2.1, 3.8, 3.1, 3.4, 4.5, 6.3, 6.8. .3, Next. 8. How will you convert a list into a string? We will use the join method for this. Nums equals 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 s equals dot join nums. S one two three four five six seven next twenty nine. What is the difference between deep and shallow copy? Shallow copy is used when a new instance type gets created and it keeps the values that are copied in the new instance. Shallow copy is used to copy the reference pointers just like it copies the values. Shallow copy allows faster execution of the program and it depends on the size of the data that is used.
Deep copy is used to store the values that are already copied. Deep copy doesn't copy the reference pointers to the objects. It makes the reference to an object and the new object that is pointed by some other object gets stored. The changes made in the original copy won't affect any other copy that uses the object. Deep copy makes execution of the program slower due to making certain copies for each object that has been called. Next. Thirty. How is multithreading achieved in Python? ANS. Python has a multi-threading package but if you want to multi-thread to speed your code up, then it's usually not a good idea to use it. Python has a construct called the Global Interpreter Lock, GIL. The GIL makes sure that only one of your threads can execute at any one time. A thread acquires the GIL, does a little work, then passes the GIL onto the next thread. This happens very quickly so to the human eye it may seem like your threads are executing in parallel, but they are really just taking turns using the same CPU core. All this gill passing adds overhead to execution. This means that if you want to make your code run faster then using the threading package often isn't a good idea. Next. Thirty-one. What is the process of compilation and linking in Python? ANS. The compiling and linking allows the new extensions to be compiled properly without any error and the linking can be done only when it passes the compiled procedure. If the dynamic loading is used then it depends on the style that is being provided with the system. The Python interpreter can be used to provide the dynamic loading of the configuration setup files and will rebuild the interpreter. The steps that are required in this is, create a file with any name and in any language that is supported by the compiler of your system. For example file.c or file.cpp place this file in the modules slash directory of the distribution which is getting used. Add a line in the file setup.local that is present in the modules slash directory. Run the file using spam file.o after a successful run of this rebuild the interpreter by using the make command on the top level directory. If the file is changed then run rebuild make file by using the command as make make file. Next. 32 Why are local variable names beginning with an underscore discouraged? A. They are used to indicate a private variables of a class B. They confuse the interpreter C. They are used to indicate global variables D. They slow down execution answer. A. They are used to indicate a private variable of a class as Python has no concept of private variables. Leading underscores are used to indicate variables that must not be accessed from outside the class. Next. 33 What is underscore underscore init underscore underscore? Underscore underscore init underscore underscore is a constructor method in Python and is automatically called to allocate memory when a new object slash instance is created. All classes have a underscore underscore init underscore underscore method associated with them. It helps in distinguishing methods and attributes of a class from local variables. Hashtag class definition class student, def underscore underscore init underscore underscore, self, fname, name, h, 
Section self dot first name equals f name self dot last name equals all name self dot age equals age self dot section equals section hashtag creating a new object stu one equals student Sarah Ansh twenty two A two Next EXT D4 How can you organize your code to make it easier to change the base class? You have to define an alias for the base class, assign the real base class to it before your class definition, and use the alias throughout your class. You can also use this method if you want to decide dynamically, example depending on availability of resources which base class to use. Example base alias equals, real base class, class derived, base alias def meth, self base alias dot meth, self. Next. 35 Can we use go to in Java to go to a particular line? What are the built-in types available in Python? Here is the list of most commonly used built-in types that Python supports, immutable built-in data types of Python numbers strings tuples mutable built-in data types of Python list dictionaries sets. Next. Thanks for watching. Like. Share and subscribe to learn more programming languages interview question and answer. My desire is to give to best video to get your dream job in corporate sector.